Hello, I'm Butch Curry from Zombie Nirvana Games. Welcome to the 16th episode of Fantasy Cartography with Adobe Photoshop, the podcast where I share my favorite tips, tricks, and techniques to help you make cool maps for your role-playing games. In this episode, we're going to tackle an issue that I get a lot of questions about. We're going to be adding mountains to this map. Now, I get so many questions from folks asking, how do I create mountains on a map, that I'm going to be recording a very special episode of Fantasy Cartography later this week. You might be disappointed to find that I'm not actually going to explain any ways to create mountains. Uh, What I am going to do is talk about some of my philosophy of map making, and maybe help you understand why that's such a problematic uh, question for me to answer. Now let's get started. In order to add mountains to this map, we're going to take advantage of a couple of Photoshop's features. Uh, for, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to come down here, we're going to create a new layer. Uh, we're going to create a solid color layer that's going to be the color that we want our mountains to be. So I'm just going to hit on the Add Filler Adjustment Layer button, come up to Solid Color. And you can see I've selected this uh, brown that I'm going to use for the mountains. Just hit OK. Now I'm going to invert the layer mask by hitting Control i and that hides that brown color. I'm going to zoom in over here where I'm going to be adding the mountains. Now I'm going to select a brush, bring up the brush palette, and you can see I've selected this pastel medium tip. I'm going to need to modify it just a bit though. I'm going to come over here to Color Dynamics, and I'm going to add some foreground and background jitter. I'm going to push this up to about 50-60%, somewhere in there. We can adjust it later if we need to. What that's going to do is, is it's going to switch between my foreground color, which in this case is white, and the background color black. Because we're doing this on a layer mask, basically what that's going to do is it's going to randomly add and subtract our solid color, brown. So we can just kind of add in a bit here just for starters. Now, to really make these mountains pop, we're going to use a layer style. You've probably seen mountains created with this particular layer style. The one we're going to use is bevel and emboss. The real trick to making them work for this particular style of map uh, that we're working on here is is subtlety. Uh, A lot of times with the uh, bevel and emboss mountains, uh, they're not very subtle. They're they're very plastic-looking. Uh, They're kind of interesting, uh, but that's not really the look that we're going for here. I'm going to close this just for a minute here, and uh, I'm just going to move my image over so we can see a little bit better when we've got that dialog open. So let's open that back up again. There we go. Now I'm going to come over here and click on Bevel and Emboss. The style that we're going to use is Emboss. We're going to keep it on Smooth, increase the size a bit. Uh, But what we're going to do to make this a little more subtle is we're going to come down here to the highlight mode and turn the opacity all the way down. So we're just going to be adding shadows here. And we're going to change the shadow color. Let me move this over just a bit. And select the same brown that I'm using for my layer. Uh, But we're going to make it just a little darker than our layer color. We don't want to go all the way to black, but just a really dark brown there, just like that. Now we'll just kind of play with some of the other settings a little bit. Maybe uh, adjust the size a bit and the depth. There we go. Just like that. And now you can see that our mountains, instead of being really harsh and plastic looking like you would normally see uh, with that bevel and emboss layer style, uh, they're very subtle and kind of almost a watercolor look. So I'm just going to paint in a few more here. Just going to just bring the brush size down a little bit to add a few more in. Normally what I would do on this is uh, get the layer style exactly the way I want. Most of the times, the mountains that I put in initially, uh, I don't really like. So what I'll do is just delete the layer mask, and then add it over again. Re-invert it. And now it's got the, the layer style in exactly the way I want. So I can kind of brush my mountains in more along the lines of what I'm looking for. Something like that. You might also see that I've got the uh, opacity on this brush turned down to about 40%. 
So now you can just kind of brush in mountains just like that. What I'll probably also do on this layer is uh, bring the opacity down just a bit on the entire layer. Just to soften it up a bit more. Down to around, oh, 80%. Just like that. Now we can zoom back out and get a better idea of what it's going to look like. Here's a little trick that, you can, that can help you with that. I'm going to zoom back in here and just kind of bring this window over a little bit. What you can do is come up to Window, down here to Documents, and then over to New Window. What that's going to do is just create another window of whatever document you're working on. In this window that I've just opened up, I'm going to switch to Print Size so that I can see what the finished product is going to look like. And then I can come back over here, grab my brush, and start painting in. And you'll see that whatever I paint in here on my big zoomed in window uh, also appears on my print size window. So you can see both side to side. Uh, a lot of times you can get working on something in Photoshop and just because you can zoom in so far you tend to get obsessed with how it looks at that really close zoomed in view which is not what you're going to see when you actually print it out. So I find this really helps me when I'm working on a map. That's going to do it for this week. Don't forget to stop by ZombieNirvana.com to check out this week's show notes and for more information about my upcoming fantasy cartography book. Until next time, thanks for listening and happy mapping. Will you go? Lassie, will you go?